So you want to drive for Apex Taxi? <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Robert and uh, just coming to you from the barn down here at Apex and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. First of all, I've been absolutely pleased to see how uh, well you guys have been uh, receiving all of the videos that Tom and I have been making and all the positive feedback and everything like that. It really has been supportive. This is something that um, I would say doesn't come natural to, to, to myself anyways. Um, so making these videos has been something that I wanted to do to get everybody a little bit of insight into Apex, into my thought process behind it. And uh, hopefully you guys are, are thoroughly enjoying it and that's something that we can continue to do in the future. Um, first of all, I owe you guys a little bit of a giveaway. Um, we were absolutely blown away with all of the uh, uh, messages when Tim and I did our lap in the GT2 RS. We, said, okay, you know, Racetracker's doing this new uh, photo program and you see those guys in the purple vests. Said, okay, the first five people to message can get a free t-shirt. Well, and, and in the back of my mind, I thought, well, maybe I should have only gone like one or two because this could really backfire and I could be kind of embarrassed when I only have like two people to pick. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I'd say we probably got over 150, maybe 200 pictures sent to us, whether it be um, Facebook, uh, on the YouTube uh, actual comments, um, Apex got flooded. Diana wrote me and said, what in the hell is all these people asking for free t-shirts? And I said, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of my fault. Sorry about that. So she assigned those all to Tom. So he's also thankful. Um, but yeah, so we, we got well over 150 requests uh, or, or pictures sent to us. And that was really neat to see. So the best way to do it, what we figured, um, because you guys did so much is that I took the three uh, main channels and said, okay, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and then the emails that you guys sent to Apex, uh, and we just randomly picked three, uh, two people from each of those channels. So we're gonna actually do six t-shirts. So from YouTube, we have Dirk X. Um, he sent a picture over uh, via a, a, a link to Racetracker. And then the other uh, uh, YouTube is Indivisible, okay? So Indivisible and Dirk X are from YouTube. You guys um, both get a t-shirt. You can shoot an email to info at apex-nurberg.com. That's our official email. And you guys can um, say that you won the t-shirt. I'm sure Diana will then ask me about this again. So be sure to say hi to Diana when you do that, okay? Um, the next two I'm going to do are from Instagram, fstopjunkie. So F Stop Junkie one, he sent me a picture of the GT2 and the carousel. And then Julian.rx8.207, also another picture from the carousel. So these are the two Instagram winners. Um, and then we have some emails. So email winners will be Dries Bolin. So Dries, uh, you also sent a picture, so thank you very much for that. And then we have Pete Hardy. Um, so to the six of you, congratulations. Uh, fire off an email. Um, two of you already did send emails, so just respond to yourself and we'll, uh, we'll get those sent out to you guys next week, okay? Uh, be sure to tell us what size you wear because uh, we don't wanna do a ton of follow-up to make this happen. So send the size your, uh, and your mailing address, okay? Um, and yeah, we'll get, those, we'll get those sent out to you in the next week or so, but. Um, so what are we up to right now? Today was the first day that we've had the Cayman uh, S race car out on the track. Today was a test day. Um, it was for me a very bittersweet day. It was a, a, a day that I think should have been a lot more exciting, but there's so many things going on in my mind right now. I think you guys can obviously understand where that's coming from. The current, I would say, world climate, if you would. And, and uh, I think a lot of people are looking at it as an economical situation. Um, and if you're looking at it from an economical standpoint, that means you're very lucky actually. Uh, because I know that there's people who are actually looking at it from a health standpoint, uh, livelihood standpoint. Are they, uh, you know, family members themselves? Are they hospitalized and things like that? So for me, I'm looking at it very heavily from a standpoint of um, business and, and uh, livelihood of employees and things like that. So while we were out on the track today, um, it was really hard for me to get into it. Um, obviously I was into it and excited about what we were doing, but in the back of my mind is, you know, okay, what are we doing? take a step back to about a week ago, um, we had uh, very big talks within Apexes. Are we going to do, continue with the racing this season? Are we gonna continue with it today? Uh, specifically because we, we decided we need to take it one step at a time. In the back of my mind, I really was hoping that the Nurburgring was going to cancel it today because with the things that we're facing, 
um, you know, from a business standpoint, not just at Apex, but at every business that I have, I really uh, couldn't get the, I guess, that far behind running a race car while all these other things are going on in the world. So um, I am actually relieved that the, uh, the VLN has been canceled for VLN 1 and VLN 2. Um, the question still remains in the air about 3, 4, and even N24, um, if they will happen as planned or postponed, etc. Um, so yeah, so for me it's just kind of been a, a, an interesting week in that regard of kind of thinking about where everything's at and what's going on. So the support that you guys have given has definitely helped out with that quite a bit. And um, I look forward to uh, continuing with this series and, uh, you know, trying to get some content out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, so, so right now we, we did, we, we ran the, the test. Luis and, and Tim were both in the car. They ran on the new Nankang tire. They also compared it to a Dunlop tire. Um, and uh, I can't give too much information about the tire and what happened, but I will tell you uh, today, because obviously we're gonna do more of it as we go, but the tire was very, very consistent. Um, uh, we were able to perform a, a couple stints on the tire, on, on the different sets of tires, and uh, the, the lap times going through were within a second of each other all the way through what would be a full stint of the car. So that showed to be very positive. It looks like it's going to be a very reliable endurance racing tire. Um, is it at the point where it's going to be the fastest tire on the market yet? Probably not, but it looks like it's gonna be a very reliable uh, tire for the entire duration of the stint. So that's something we're, we're definitely excited about. Um, we're gonna get the feedback back to Nankang about what we saw, what we felt. And I think that they're gonna take that and maybe even uh, you know make some, some further changes because that's one of the reasons we've enjoyed working with Nankang is they're always looking to evolve and, and improve the product and everything like that. So that, that's pretty cool for us. But um, what we're doing now is uh, putting all of the media together. Tom was all over the place. Uh, the boys are driving the car and they've got tons of onboard footage and we're getting that uh, all compiled. Um, and I think Tom's gonna try and put a video out that maybe will be ready to come out tomorrow. We're just gonna have to see uh, about timing. And then here uh, on our side, we're gonna transition into TF business. Um, a lot of questions about what's happening uh, right now with, with our, our taxi laps and our rental cars and everything like that. And the best thing that I can tell you is to continue checking in with us about your booking because at the moment, if Tourist and Farton is open, Apex is there. We're here uh, to operate, we're here running our taxis, we're here running our rental cars, and um, that's not going to change. So as long as the, the, the track is allowed to be open, then we're here, we're, we're uh, fully committed to being behind that. So the team is very motivated. Um, but yeah, so the, so the team the team is motivated. We're we're ready to to kick this off, and obviously from our side, from a business aspect, we're hoping that that we can plug through in a nice manner that kind of keeps things fed and keeps things going. But at the end of the day, um, we're not in control of that, and like I said, there's bigger things at play. So uh, just keep a line open with us. Talk to us about what's going on. Um, if you can't make it for any reason to to Apex to the Nurburgring we will go ahead and slide your booking to another date. Uh, that's uh, the least that we could do, obviously, for you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're at. Um, you'll also keep an eye out on Misha's channel. We're gonna do a video, I think, tomorrow, where we're talking about a few programs that we have that we've set up, and maybe even some, some deals for those of you that book uh, laps with us in the future. So let's say you wanna do something with us and you book it for June or July, we're gonna probably throw a little bit of a special deal for you guys. So anyhow, that's today's update. Uh, look for a little bit more on the racing and some other excitement tomorrow. Catch you guys later.